So do you think Hollywood knows the script for leadership? Think your favorite TV boss is the epitome of managerial prowess? Well, grab your popcorn and nestle in. We're about to separate fact from cinematic fiction. Let's dive into the twisted world of Hollywood's take on leadership, a world where myths often overshadow reality, clouding your judgments on what real world leadership should actually look like. Of course, the worst and most dangerous stereotype, one that fueled a generation of red-blooded Armani suit-wearing men in the 1980s is the Gordon Gecko character from the movie Wall Street. You remember that? Greed-fueled, slick back hair, and zero ethics, Gecko embodies the Machiavellian stereotype that many people wrongly associate with leadership. In real life, selfish greed leads to toxic workplaces and disastrous results. The counterintuitive truth, empathy, and the inclusion of all stakeholders benefiting make for more thriving enterprises. Dumbledore, the all-knowing sage from Harry Potter, Hollywood would have you believe that true leaders are fountains of infinite wisdom. But in real life, especially in today's fast-evolving and dynamically changing marketplace, no leader has all the answers. Real-world leaders lean on their teams, advisors, and even their competitors for insights. And then there's Miranda Presley, the heartless powerhouse in The Devil Wears Prada. Here's what's unfortunate. Some aspiring leaders watch Miranda Presley's emotional coldness and think that's how to be respected. Wrong. Emotional intelligence and people skills often yield a more long-term respect and loyalty than fear and intimidation. And there's Dr. Gregory House, the I'm always right boss from the show House. House is a genius, but he's also arrogant and treats subordinates poorly. The lesson here isn't that arrogance gets results, it's that a broken clock is right twice a day. In real life, no one wants to work for a know-it-all Giacomo. Now let's find a few examples of where Hollywood gets it more right. There's Captain John Luke Picard, the transformative leader from Star Trek. John Luke's leadership style is one of diplomacy, moral integrity, and intellectual rigor. He's not just issuing directives, he's empowering his crew to be better. This is a leadership style supported by research and real world success. Coach Eric Taylor, the tough love leader in Friday Night Lights. Coach Taylor puts his team's need before his own and focuses on their growth as players and as people. That's empowering leadership, and it leads to winning. President Josiah Bartlett, the Democratic leader in the West Wing. Bartlett's consultative approach, listening to diverse opinions before making decisions, is both empowering and effective. His staff are more co-creators than mere support staff. These portrayals can teach us a lot about the myths and the realities of leadership. While Tinseltown often leads towards dramatizing the bad, ugly, and dysfunctional styles for our entertainment, there are gems that offer meaningful insight into what makes a leader truly effective. So be discerning. Pick your role models with the rigor of a film critic. And now you tell us, it's your turn to direct. What Hollywood character archetype do you think embodies the character and qualities of effective leadership in the modern era? Drop your picks in the comments below and let's keep the dialogue rolling. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. My friend Rob recently joined a support group for people who peaked in high school. I asked, what's the group called? He said, CrossFit. <laughs> my niece Sabrina asked, why do you have a step ladder? I said, because my real ladder left when I was just a baby. Oh. Aw. Brad wants to create a tequila called Occasionally. So if a doctor ever asks if Brad drinks, he can say, only occasionally. A man is on a date and the woman asks him, what do you do for a living? He says, I work with troubled and challenged kids. She says, oh, you're a saint. Where do you work? He replies, at the White House. <laughs> Brenda read the news headline, humans eat more bananas than monkeys. She looked at her husband, Chris, and said, well, that makes sense. I can't remember the last time I ate a monkey. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. See you on the flip side.